Renovations, they are finally done at the former Grand Rapids Christian High School. Here we go. This is the former GRCHS. They are, uh, they got a residential space now. 40 new affordable apartments are in there. They got community groups oh, will use the building cute. as a hub. It's gorgeous. They're going to provide resources to the public as well. There are administrative offices for the Inner City Christian Federation, a worship space for Madison Church, and even the YMCA has a child development center there as well. I love that. Hey, Friends of GR Parks is teaming up with the city for the mayor's sixth annual greening initiative. Volunteers will bring 350 new trees to the Burton Heights neighborhood. Two events scheduled. The first is on Arbor Day, which is this Saturday at Plaster Creek Family Park. Volunteers can also sign up for a two hour shift to add dozens of new trees to the streets of Burton Heights. This is all part of the city's goal to reach a 40% tree canopy and the Grand Rapids Drive have announced the near their new plans for the 21-22 season no longer going to be called the drive the NBA G League franchise is now going to be an affiliate of the Denver Nuggets that's after the Detroit Pistons opted to move their G League team to Detroit after last season the Nuggets will control the roster and all basketball operations while owner Steve Jabara and his team will control the business and community side of the operations now the drive and the Nuggets are working together on a new name and a new team identity for the Grand Rapids franchise to better suit the partnership. They're going to announce all that in the next month or two. Hey, co-owner and NBA champion Ben Wallace, as we know from the Pistons, is going to remain with the team as well. Ford isn't just about making cars. The company is planning to build and develop their own electric car batteries at a new facility in Detroit. The automaker announced a $185 million investment into that development center. It'll be called Ford Ion Park, and it's expected to open by the end of next year. The lab will be used to develop electronic controls and other items that Ford plans to move in-house. And the long-term plan is to do large-scale manufacturing to ship out their own batteries globally. Now, this is part of Ford's recent commitment to invest $22 billion in electric cars by 2025, which is not far off, no. really. And why buy the batteries when you can make them? That's right. right? Make, your make the batteries. Cake and eat it, too. <laughs> grab your favorite mask. Grab those capes. Today is National Superhero Day. You got a favorite superhero, Leanne? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Yeah. yeah. Solid choice. Yes. You got Batman, Captain America, Wonder Woman. Don't forget Captain Marvel. Put that in there. And the Hulk. They're among the most popular characters. And although these superheroes are fictional, many of them serve as role models for children as they serve and protect the public, <clears throat> excuse me, while battling against evil. Of course, there are some non-fictional superheroes in the world there to celebrate. Is. You got teachers, medical professionals, first responders. You know, people can honor those other people today too. Yeah. Give them a thanks, give them a high five, give Thank them a card, anything, sure. you, anything you can do.